Hey guys, I hope you all are doing good. In today's video, I'm going to talk about how you can get yourself registered as an architect in Australia. So try watching this video till the end. This video will be a really helpful video for anyone who is planning to go to Australia as an international student or you are going to Australia for your work purposes or you are migrating to Australia. So try watching this video till the end and without any delays, let's get started with the video guys. So guys, the entire architecture registration process of Australia can be divided into three parts. So let's get started with part number one. In part number one, if you are an international architect and if you are not going for a master's degree, you will have to get your degree assessed. And this assessment will be done by AACA. AACA stands for Architecture Accreditation Council of Australia. And they have a program that is called Overseas Architecture Education Assessment. In short, they call it OAA. And for this, you will have to pay around $3,370, sorry, $3,370, that is Australian dollars. So, and for this, and after paying this fees, you will have to submit all your documents. In documents, you will have to submit all your mark sheets. You will have to submit all your transcripts. You will have to submit your university syllabus that will be stamped and verified by your university itself. And it has to be an original document, not a Xerox copy or something. And once you have done this, they will take around uh, two months to assess all of your documents. And then they will give you uh, eligibility that your degree is valid based on Australian architecture education standards. So once this part is done, then you will go ahead and clock in your hours. For this, you will have to get a logbook. You can download the logbook from the website of AACA or your Territorial Province Architecture Accreditation Board. You can download this logbook and you will have to start clocking in your hours. You will have to clock in around 3,300 hours, which is around two years roughly. And this should be under a registered architect or a registered architecture firm. And guys, one more very important point. Uh, if you have prior experience before coming to Australia or before going to Australia, I should say I'm not in Australia. So before going to Australia, if you have some experience or one or two years or five years of experience. So what you can do is you can calculate around 1650 hours from your prior experience outside Australia and include it into your 3300 hours. So this way you will be reducing your two years timeline to just one year and you will have to submit these hours in your logbook and verify it by the principal architect of the firm that you were working previously for or you have to give uh, names of people who can verify that you have worked on all of these projects. So this is how you can log in all your hours and then once you have logged in all of these, you will have to submit this to your Territorial Architecture Accreditation Board. Uh, they will verify all your hours and they will give you an eligibility that okay fine now you are eligible to give the exam. And this is the part two of our three part registration process. Part two is your national examination paper. So this is a national examination for architecture. And once you are eligible after submitting all your logbooks and all your uh, verified degree overseas uh, architecture education degree, which is verified that all of these, when you have submitted, you will be eligible to give this particular examination. This examination consists of 80 questions, multiple choice question, and you will have two hours to complete this entire examination. And the topics of this examination are as follows. The first one is the role of professional architects. That is your ethics paper then design delivery and construction phase services, then practice management. Then you have your role of professional architects in society that you can consider as ethics too. And then you have architecture role, architect's role during and after construction. 
so these are the main topics there are also subtopics and i have mentioned the link in the description where you can go ahead and find all the information that i am talking about and these are all verified sources these are all from architecture association board of australia so none of the information that i'm talking about is false or i'm making it making it up so don't worry about the information and you can check out all the links that are in description now there are two scenarios if you succeed in the examination you will be going on to the next round that will be our part three of our registration process but if you fail you will have to resubmit all your documents and in these documents you will have to submit your uh, resume that will be your cv and then your logbook then your statement of practical experience so this will be like statement of purpose you might be preparing <laughs> for if you are going for a international masters but yeah this is your statement of practical experience so all of these you will have to submit again and then again sit for the exam and if you complete this exam the part 3 will be your examination by interview in this there will be two jurors or two interviewers sitting and then they will go over all your documents that you have previously submitted that will be your cv then your statement of practical experience then they will be asking you question based on your examination your experience and your logbook so all of these will be the main criteria for you to pass through your interview basically in interview they check that if you have mentioned something about a project or your hours are those things accurate if you are lying or not so basically this is not the toughest part if you are not lying on your logbook or something so take care of all of these things all of these points the links of everything that i have spoken about is in the description you can go ahead and check that out and guys if you like this video if this video was helpful for you go ahead hit a like and subscribe to my channel a lot of you are watching my videos but you guys don't subscribe i know it is a hassle to subscribe to someone's channel but guys it helps us a lot i am doing a full time job and i do a job on weekend i still find some time to research these things for all of you to make your life a bit easier so i just ask you one thing please subscribe and support this channel so that my video reaches someone who actually need this help so go ahead hit a like and subscribe and take care of yourself guys take care bye bye